it's 2021, and that means Intel's 11th Gen Rocket Lake processors are here! And that also means it's time for my usual PC upgrade. But anyway, here's the processor itself. Don't ask me why I did that lah, because I don't have the box. Anyway, this is the Intel Core i7 11700K processor. Featuring 8 cores and 16 threads, with a base clock of 3.6GHz and a turbo boost up to 5GHz. Even though I'm feeling a little bit sad that I cannot land my hand on the latest Core i9 saying it, saying it box, but this Core i7 is more than sufficient for enthusiast gamers and multitaskers like me. I multitask with 20 YouTube tabs at once, okay? But anyway, you guys must be wondering what's new with the Intel's 11 Gen CPUs. Well, first of all, it has a new processor core architecture that improves instructions per cycle up to 19%. Besides being more efficient, it also introduces support for Intel cryo cooling technology, discrete Thunderbolt 4 technology, Intel Wi Fi 6E, and more. Intel's integrated UHD graphics with Intel Iris XE architecture has also been enhanced. And new features like Intel Deep Learning Boost and Intel Adaptive Boost technology has also been added. We will be showing some benchmark in a bit, but to do so, we need a motherboard, right? And that's why this year, we have got the ROG Strix Z590E gaming Wi-Fi to complement with our new processor. While Intel 11 Gen chips still use the same LGA 1200 socket like the last gen, but I think it will be nice if your motherboard has the latest features so that you can maximize your PC's performance. And you know lah, the retailer nowadays right, like to bundle this, bundle that, so I don't think you have a choice except to upgrade your processor and motherboard together lah. Anyway, let's move on to the key feature of the ROG Strix Z590E gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. First up, it has 14 plus 2 power stages with Pro Cool 2 connectors, a super thick VRM heatsink, and most interestingly, an additional VRM fan for extra cooling. It's included in the package with a fan bracket, but holy sh Look at this, it's so tiny and cute! Even though I don't know how much extra cooling it will give, but who cares? Next up, it has 4 M.2 sockets, two of which support PCIe 4.0, which you can finally make use of now that Rocket Lake is out. If you remove the heatsink covers, you'll find that M.2 drive can be attached via a plastic bit called an M.2 Q latch. Once you chuchu the M.2 into the socket, all you have to do is turn the plastic latch to secure it. No need to use screwdriver and then turn, 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 turn. Ah, yeah, so much fun. As for connectivity, it supports dual 2.5 gig Ethernet with ASUS LAN guard as well as Wi-Fi 6E. The shark fin is included in the package, so you can use it for a stronger signal. We also have a huge array of ports on the back which you can see here, as well as user-friendly features like the clear CMOS button and BIOS flashback button. For easy troubleshooting, it also has the postcode indicator on the front here. And the usual AI features are back as well, including AI networking, AI overclocking, AI cooling, and AI noise cancelling. It also has Aura Sync RGB and tree lighting zones on the motherboard itself to make sure that your setup is all bling out. And that's all about it for the motherboard. For such a powerful build, surely things are going to heat up, right? And that's why we use this AIO liquid cooler to keep temperatures under control. And this is called the RG Real Gen 240, not the Overwatch Hero. Using the Kill no. Now this is a little bit special because it has a 1.77 OLED screen that can put customized logos and even show you real-time PC steps. And of course, it also supports Aura Sync to sync with the rest of your ROG products. Furthermore, it uses 120mm Noctua industrial PPC fans. I'm sure PC enthusiasts out there have heard about these fans because they are so famous. Meanwhile, there's also an embedded microfan in the pump housing to cool the VRM and M.2. To wrap things up, we have run some performance benchmark with the motherboard and processor combo, and we will pop up the results on the screen right now.
maybe here, I don't know, editor. And with that, we have come to the end of the video. If you are looking for a shiny new motherboard to go with your Intel 11 Gen new processor, make sure you check out the RG Strix Z590E Gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. I'll be dropping the links in the description box, so make sure you guys go and check out all the details that you need. That's all from me today. This is Christina from Salty News Network, signing off.